today we're going to go on a ride, a short ride, and the topic for today I'd like to talk about is cool factor versus safety. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chote. Switching over to the 787. Times I've seen that there is somewhat of a, somewhat of a, a clash. Sometimes there's a clash between style, riding in style, and riding safe, safely. You know. Uh, what I mean is not like how I ride the bike, but what equipment, what gear you take. So the last few rides I was uh, riding with uh, my buddies. Some of them come with t-shirts and jeans and all-star shoes. Now that is really, really cool, but I don't know how safe it is. I don't feel, I don't feel safe with that. I don't feel comfortable with that. So I went ahead, I always, uh, on the sports bike, I used to ride with, I'll show you very soon, I'll show you right now actually, with uh, these Kevlar Long Johns. I, you know, people in the past, I used to have a pair of jeans that had a Kevlar lining on them. And that Kevlar lining was good, but it limited me. It limited me only to be riding with, with, those, with those jeans. trips to England uh, when I was flying I researched and found these amazing uh, long johns it's a German invention he actually has a patent on it and it's simply long johns made of Kevlar I think they cost like hundred and thirty hundred forty dollars with uh, inserts where you can put inserts of uh, padding and then all you need to do is switch to any jeans or any any pants you want to uh, ride with so that gives you that flexibility so that's the lower that's the lower part of my body sneakers you know I prefer these uh, Australian boots they don't have really uh, ankle protectors but they're solid uh, leather and really good now how about the uh, how about the t-shirt as cool as it is, I don't feel comfortable just riding t-shirt. And many times you just say to yourself, oh I'll just go, I'll just go slow speed. yourself cruising 80 90 with a sh with a, a short sleeve shirt or a t-shirt and you're not protected whatsoever you're cool but you're not protected whatsoever they fall, slip, 
They hit the road. Forget about it. The road rash will be crazy. So, I don't know, tell me what you guys do. Do you guys prefer the cool factor? Or, or a little bit like me, you try to find the middle, you know, try to find protective gear that is also cool. Take a look at this, uh, like, new, new riding jacket that I got from Harley. Really nice. Really happy with it. It's perforated nylon. And now it's like, I think, 80, 80 degrees out. And it's nice and cool with this jacket because it's completely perforated. Little hole that, little holes that let in a lot of air. So all I have underneath is a cool Harley t-shirt and this jacket. And this jacket is actually pretty, very good. It's got uh, places where you can insert uh, protective, uh, you know, protective padding, like in the elbows. Uh, elbows, shoulders, and the only thing is they don't have any protecting uh, inserts in the back, like on your back, which I, I kind of like, but whatever. Cool enough, nice enough, protecting, protective enough, and definitely, definitely great for these conditions. So this pretty much jack will be good during uh, Spring, fall, and absolutely summer. No doubt about it. Now take a look at John's new long shirt. Really, really nice. Really, really cool. With the Harley uh, logo on the back, on the front as well. Really nice. I'm not sure if it has uh, inserts, you know, places to put in uh, protective uh, inserts, but it's nicely padded, really thick. So. That would protect of any road rash as well. So yeah guys, tell me how you ride. Are you going all safety gear? All naked, pretty much, but, but riding cool? Or do you find somewhere in the middle the combination of safety and, and cool factor? Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video up till now. If you are, I'd, I'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. Yeah. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Go ahead and click that huge subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notifications. That way you get a notification every time I put out a new video. I'd like to thank you guys for sticking around. I'm over a thousand subscribers. An important milestone. And what that means is that every time more and more people watch my videos, I get a few cents. It's not a lot of money. It's not my main job, not my main business. But it sure helps me and motivates me to want to do more and more videos. Missed the turn, I think. We're at Franklin Lake Nature Preserve. Nice area over here. there's some of you observant viewers that see that I changed the seat. Now tell, let me tell you about the seat that I changed. Actually I was enjoying the solo seat that comes standard with the bike. But I was, uh, one of my planned upgrades, one of my planned upgrades is to put a, 
a backrest. Now the solo seat didn't didn't give me too many options with the uh, with finding and putting a solo, I mean a backrest. So I said it was a good idea. It was a good idea to switch over to the OEM standard street glide and road glide seat. I actually found this on Facebook. It was new, somebody just bought the bike and took it off. So in the future, you're gonna see a backrest right here. This is very cool. I just checked out, uh, they rent over here. Canoes by the hour and you can come. It's a huge, huge uh, reservoir slash lake. I'm gonna come to, uh, with the family over here. It's, it's close to the house, it's like 20 minute ride. And we'll go for a couple of hours, have fun. Really nice. DMV still closed in New Jersey. No plating whatsoever. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, appreciate it if you uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. If you enjoyed this video, give me uh, a little thumbs up over there. And stay tuned for more upgrades, more rides, more fun stuff. Until the next video, I'm Sandy. Peace out.